Hi there, this is Fixed It. In part one of this video, I successfully opened a Sphero SPRK Plus and replaced the batteries. If you haven't watched part one, then click on the link above before proceeding with this video. And in this video, we're going to be putting the Sphero back in its shell, relining it up, and then gluing it together before testing it. What I've noticed with these Sphero's is that half of it seems to be glued quite lightly and the other half is glued heavily. As you can see I've got a pretty good edge on half of it where you can see that the inner surface will slide back into the groove behind the coloured name band. But there are also some breaks and cracks in the seam which I will have to fill and I plan to do this with just the glue by applying it in small layers, hardening it as I go along. As we saw, one side of the shell has a lip on it and the other side has a well. So I'm going to begin by filling the well using tiny amounts of the glue. Don't go using a lot, otherwise it'll just go everywhere and make a mess. This glue's empty. <laughs> okay, let's put that down there and get another. As you can see, this is the part where the lip broke. And so I'm literally just applying glue there to try and build it up in order that I can fill the gap in a little while. Now I'll move around to the groove. The most amazing thing about this glue is that it stays liquid as you work with it and it's quite easy to wipe off if you make a mistake and then clean off with a bit of isopropyl alcohol. So you can apply the glue as often as you need in order to get it right and it'll only begin to harden when you apply ultraviolet light and then it will set about 50% hardness in 6 seconds. Having said that, be aware, when it sets, it sets very hard. It's like araldite and it's very difficult to remove or even to file down. So only activate it with the UV when you're sure you're absolutely ready to set it. I jumped several minutes of me very gently applying the glue and very slowly and um, what you just saw was the last rush around the edges just to make sure it flowed completely. Now I can put the unit back inside, try not to get any glue on the unit itself and um, it looks good so I think we're ready to fasten it together. One of the biggest difficulties caused when opening it up was by this V um, which is on one side but the good thing about the V is that once you separate it from the two halves of the shell it's absolutely perfect for putting the shell back together because you only need to align the V's and the rest of the shell will slot in place and I tell you that saves an awful lot of time because I did one that had no V on it and it was an absolute nightmare so let's align the V's and then manip manipulate the Sphero until all of the pits and cracks and grooves lock together as best as they can. And just a quick once over to check everything's okay and then we're ready to use the UV torch. Because of the tendency of spherical objects to fall apart when you're trying to work with them, I'm going to make use of this woodworking quick clamp to clamp the top and the bottom of the Sphero and it will also apply some pressure to the seam which will give me a nice firm seal before I then apply the UV torch light. I've decided to use this 3 watt UV torch rather than my UV laser which does a much better job but I didn't want to risk accidentally burning out some of the LEDs by catching them with the laser light because the high energy from the laser light will destroy the junction of an LED. Now this is known as 6 second glue or quick glue or 15 second glue but I've never known it set properly in less than 30 seconds. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Quite often as well, I'll let it set for a few seconds, turn it off, wait a few seconds, and then go around and do it again, just to make sure that I actually managed to get everything. Once the glue has hardened enough to hold the object together, you can of course remove the quick clamp to release the pressure on it. The thing is, even though this glue sets in 30 seconds to a minute, it doesn't actually completely harden for 24 hours. And you can tell it's not fully hardened because the outside of the glue will be tacky to the touch. So what I'll do when I finish here is I will now put this aside and I will leave it for 24 hours and check it. Hopefully it'll all be dry and then I'll leave it for another 24 hours before I actually 
get round to using the Sphero to make sure the whole seam has glued completely in order to be hard enough not to fall apart when I go to use the Sphero. So here it is, my first fully repaired Sphero. Except for a couple of small markings around the outside edge. It's absolutely perfect and working great and no hacksaw, drill, chainsaw <laughs> anywhere to be seen. I'm really pleased with the result and I've got some more on the way including some Sphero bolts. Hope you liked the video please subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos give the video a thumbs up if you like it and share it with others. Thanks for watching bye.